Hey guys, this is Mr. Coombe. Let's do a problem to do with gas stoichiometry. So uh, pause this video to uh, read the question and then unpause it and let's get to the actual solution. Okay, here we go. So first off, you're going to need, in order to answer this question, you're going to need uh, your reaction because the molar ratio is very, very important in this particular case. So you have carbon monoxide, so that's CO, and we know that carbon monoxide is a gas. Um, so you need to state the symbols. Now it reacts with oxygen. Now oxygen always will exist as O2 other than O3. It can exist as O3. Never really, or never, by uh, just oxygen by itself. So those are our reactants. They produce um, basically carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide gas. First thing that we need to do, we need to actually balance this equation. So on the left hand side we have one carbon, one carbon on the right hand side, you have three oxygens on the left hand side and only two here. So um, a good um, a good thing to start off here, let's double this. So now we have four oxygens on the right hand side, we have still three, so let's double this. Now we have four oxygens on the left hand side, four oxygen, oxygens on the right hand side, and two carbons, two carbons. Beautiful, now it's balanced. So first things first, whenever you have reactions with gases, they will also, um, ideally, those gases will occupy per mole, okay, per mole of gas, so one mole of any gas will occupy 22.71 litres of space, of volume. So it doesn't matter what gas it is, it's going to occupy that much for every mole. So now we have this thing, we have a molar ratio. So if we, uh, let's talk about the actual molar ratio of this reaction. So here, for every carbon monoxide, so for every two moles of carbon monoxide, you are going to need one mole of oxygen and you'll produce two moles of carbon dioxide. So if we start off, with one litre of carbon monoxide, so let's say, so now the volume, we have one litre of carbon monoxide, now the ratios of the volume stay the same, just um, just as the ratio of the, the moles are like this. So, what's the ratio of carbon monoxide to oxygen? It's two to one. So we know that one is half of two. So, if one is half of two and there's one liter of carbon monoxide, then there must be a half a liter of oxygen. And carbon dioxide, it's it's um, just as easy. So compare two moles to two moles, they're exactly the same. So the volume of carbon dioxide must be exactly the same as carbon monoxide, which is one liter. And there is your answer.